Yeah. What's up, Doc? What is the serenity hair? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not a Zen Buddhist Bugs Bunny. And it's time for another unbuckled bumpy ride with your guide, the stark raving lunatic himself. I'm Jim. Let's jump right in again. Welcome to my podcast based on my brand new book, available on Amazon, Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N. It's a year-long guide to gratitude and our daily grind. The book that combines some timeless wisdom from a whole lot of the world's wiser people with the reflections, reactions, and wisecracks of the guide's author, me. And it guides you, the reader, through the simplest system for a happy, healthy, authentic, and genuinely grateful everyday experience. I urge you to get the book. Of course I do. I wrote it. It's either at Amazon or at my website, ampurage.com. A-M-M-P-U-R-A-G-E. But even without it, let's make next week better than last, our next year better than the past, and get started now with today's episode of... Many of your body parts don't need and won't seek your permission. They are pre-programmed. Pre-programmed in a way that may be perfectly pre-programmed. Or, as my great-grandma used to say, perturbingly pre-programmed. She's from Texas. Perturbing. It's a thing. Look it up. So, pre-programmed to do a combo of what they were designed to do and what they've been just resigned to do. In other words, they may have been built for and blessed for things, but were basically kept at a base level for so long It's like they got unprogrammed, deprogrammed, and reprogrammed almost down to your DNA. That is another podcast. But either way, there's things about you and I, things about us, that annoy the flock out of us, and we want to flip them the bird. Because they're like like the cowlick sticking out of the back of the head on that kid from the Little Rascals. You know, the really annoying one. Look that up, too. And, And these things, they just won't do what we want. They don't make life easier on us, and so they, in so doing, they annoy the Hanoi Jane out of us. And when they keep popping up, it feels like a pigeon just crapped on our fleshly washed, you know, waxed and, and cleaned up car. Because no matter how we buff or bronze, nip and tuck or tweeze and pluck, we still feel like, what the f- um, okay, never mind. Somewhere, there must be an answer. There must be a product I can purchase. There must be a service I can sell my soul for to solve this frustration. Well, because if not, well, if not, the, the only answer left out there is acceptance. An acceptance that we need to appreciate that is not a settling for. Because settling, well, that would be kind of unsettling. But it is instead an acknowledging. An acknowledging that brings knowledge. Knowledge and wisdom. Wisdom and peace. Now, who wouldn't like an extra piece of peace on their personal plate, hmm? We started this all out with the fact that your eyebrows didn't ask your permission. And the older we get, the more evident that becomes. Am I right, my over 50 crowd? Hello out there. And any one of you listening who hasn't reached this reality yet, (laughs) drum roll moment, go get a magnification mirror, because it's coming. It will arrive, and the bitch of it all is that about the same time your eyebrows go all Amazon jungle and animal kingdom on you, well, your ears and nose start to sprout bamboo as well. And lo and behold, your close-up vision goes to crap so you can't see it. Hmm. Maybe it's that way for a reason. Maybe just accept it. Accept it? Accept what? My fuzzy little friends. Accept. Accept how some things about our bodies, about your body, were designed to be trained, and others are just destined to be trials for you. Like eyebrows. Eyebrows that can't be trained and told what to do, no matter the trimming, tweezing, and mother-plucking methods that we try, some things about the body are to be accepted. But acceptance 
is not the same as settling. Timely coincidence. I'm going to go a little Dr. Seuss on you here. There's eyebrows and nails of the fingers and toes, hairs in your ears and hairs on your nose, freckles and beauty marks of all shapes, sizes, and places, and ears that seem way too damn large for our faces. <laughs> anybody out there know anybody like that? Some body parts just refuse to be tamed. They don't ask your permission for the way they behave. So you're left with three choices, responses, three options. There's denial or settle or accept them as awesome. Awesome, Jim says. Is Jim missing something here beyond the neck hairs he probably missed shaving in the mirror? Awesome is what we choose to find in something, not what has been previously defined about something. If we're going to go on rewriting the definitions of things today, as it has happening, let's commit to starting with two things. One, what only affects us. And two, what only we have full control and responsibility for. So, awesome? It's like the whole glass is half empty, glass is half full question. Bull spit. Malarkey. The damn glass is always 100% full. That may be half full of water and half full of air, but you need them both, don't you? So appreciate and be grateful for that glass as it is, 100% full of what you need, even when it ain't like we think we want. I remember a cartoon, a cartoon about a woman shaving her legs in the shower. She put in all the work. She's happy with how she spent her hour. Okay, yeah, I know, it might not have been an hour. But if someone actually did a pie chart about the breakdown of time, and the percentage of time that some people spend on certain tasks in the shower, it would likely look maybe like 15% washing the body parts, 10% washing and conditioning, you know, the head of hair, and the other 75% shaving, chasing, stray, plucking hairs. Anyways, the woman shaves the legs, turns the water off, gets out, towel dries, towel on the head. Then, after defogging and wiping the mirror, puts on her glasses, looks around only to see Heavens to Murgatroyd! Da, da, da. She missed a toe knuckle. <laughs> okay. Crap. Well, there goes the whole day. And guys, hey, you guys out there, get your asses down from your high horses. Because you know there's been times that you've noticed missed patches of fuzz on someone and you just recoiled like they had the plague. We all overreact to the things that we under accept. Write that down. We all overreact to the things that we under accept. Instead, choose to look for advantages to replace what we see as adversarial. Quit feeling frustrated by what was never meant to be tamed. Don't make out your hairs and hangnails and spots to be a big old game of whack-a-mole at the Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another. Gotta bob them and stop it. Come on, who wants that stress and tension? Just drop it. So from the beginning, the serenity hair. The serenity hair is looking at ourselves in the mirror, nude and not being rude, and yet awakened to say the following. God, give me the strength to manage the things that I can, and I am meant to. Give me the acceptance and the patience to let go of those things I can't and was never meant to. And grant me the wisdom and knowledge to know and acknowledge the difference. Nyeh. That's what's up, Doc. And now, more words of wisdom to wow your socks off from the Live Life Lean Guide itself. Entry number 33. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius. And the guide's point of view on this? You know, mind over matter is what they say. And if you don't mind, it don't matter. God, give me the serenity to not mind so much, but to mind my own a little more. So, using the Live Life Lean system, what do you think about this? What have you learned that's new? What have you earned? Well, what are you working to earn that's not just given to you? Where have you added to the world recently that wasn't just about you 
And now be grateful for that. Reflect, respect it, and navigate somewhere next. Thank you for listening. I hope you're enjoying your copy of the Live Life Lean, L-E-A-N guide. Enjoying it almost as much as I did creating it. And if you don't have a copy yet, go on over to Amperage.com or Amazon and get started today experiencing the amazing power of knowing every day is literally yours to be grateful about. And you need never feel unfulfilled again. I'm Jim Hall. And until next time, good health, God bless. And now, go get a little dirty learning something new. Earning what's not given to you. Adding to this crazy world that we share. And navigating your way to something new. And next.